lied to or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A Clearwater couple paid cash for a boat four months ago, but now it's parked in their backyard. They're afraid to use it because they still don't have the registration or a plate for their new boat trailer. When they hit roadblocks and couldn't get a resolution, they knew they'd better call Bacon. It's perfect weather for boating, and now, hopefully, this couple is closer to getting back on the water to enjoy their new boat. We picked this boat because it's a fishing boat, and my husband and I like to go fishing. Bonnie and Eric Ortiz were thrilled to buy this 17-foot boat in early December. They paid $22,399 cash to Champion Marine in Clearwater, and they were given a 30-day temporary tag, then another one, allowing them to use the boat for two months while they waited to get their registration, title, and plate for the boat trailer. Was it fun? Yeah, of course. We love it. It's... We love catching fish and being out on the water and taking our family and friends out. But now the temporary tag is expired, and they say they ran into roadblocks when they called the dealership to find out why they don't have the permanent tag and registration. So they parked the boat. Without a valid registration, I can't take it out on the street or on the water. With that, I knew I needed to get to the bottom of this. I found state records show the boat and trailer are legally in the couple's names. I called Champion Marine and spoke with the owner, who tells me he was unaware of the situation but would take care of it immediately. He called me back to say there have been delays with a third-party title processing company and he would personally make sure that the Ortiz family receives their plate and registration so they can get back on the water. Bonnie tells me she received a call this afternoon from Champion Marine and they apologize that the plate and registration never arrived in the mail. She says she was told to pay for a duplicate copy at the DMV and that the dealership will reimburse the cost and throw in a gift card for dinner out to make it up to her. Which is nice and sometimes people just don't know where to start with these problems which is why they call you and they get a little bit of help. What about the title? Do you have any advice for how she's supposed to get that? Well, we just learned how she's going to get the other things but titles everybody needs to remember in Florida are electronic so she it is in the state system all she needs to do is order a copy from the DMV now that she's going to have the rest of it she should be able to do that and closer to getting back on the water and enjoying that boat so she can go to dinner first and then go out the yes, next day and enjoy perfect. the boat yes thank you Shannon <laughs> if you have a problem that needs solving better call Bankin. you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA